Oh my goodness, why aren't we using KidOps? Let me just let, let me just show you what KidOps is. So I'm gonna bring up the side panel and over here we've got a whole bunch of complex cutters. I also have the materials that comes with, which is the EV material renderer. Let's just select, well, I don't know. Let's go this tech piece. I'm gonna select here. These are a list of cutters that are available. For instance, I can click on this one, have the box selected. Let's click in, add insert, put this in here, scale it up. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Look at this, let's turn off that into display mode. Let's just select the mesh, come over into the normals, auto smooth. Um, that's kind of a good example, but let's do something a little bit better. Let's select our cube, add inset, and we can do this. Oh my goodness, I forgot how cool KidOps was. Um, I'm gonna do one more just as a quick example. Let's just put this thing here, add inset. Like that. But obviously we're not limited to the cutters that come with it. We can actually make our own cutters. So for instance, I'm going to just come over into here and I should have one off in the distance. There it is. Let's just press the period key to zoom in. From here, what I can do, I can click create insert. And now this kind of creates our own scene. So it changes the scene from scene to the KidOps factory. Now this is gonna be our solid piece. Let's now put our origin point just on this point. So Shift S cursor to selected. Let's press now Shift A and we'll create a new cube. I'm gonna scale it like so, because what I wanna do is I wanna cut out the bottom part of any mesh that we wanna build onto. So for instance, we've now encompassed all that, maybe a little bit more, there we go. What we have to do now is change this to cutter and we need to change this to the main object. Now, because this other piece came in first, we're gonna have to select it and disable main object on that one. Oops, let's go into object mode and disable main object. Nope, you wanna be a jerk. There we go. And because this is our main object, we need to parent all our other objects to our main object. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select our mesh and then our main object or parent object, control P, object. And so now we can see that we've got this hierarchy. Now, one important thing as well is we need to select everything and we can do control A and apply scale. From here, we have to save the inset. And so what I'm just gonna do is create it into Marco's folder and we'll call this inter pipe one, save inset, insert, I can say it. From here, camera to insert, whoops, let's press numpad zero. We can now render the thumbnail and now that's created a thumbnail. So what we can do from here, I'm just gonna save it again just to be safe. Let's close the factory scene. And now we can come back over into our cube. Let's just select that period key. Let's come around to the other side. I'm gonna click on that, into pipe. Let's select our box, add insert. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What an amazing tool. I completely forgot about this. Now, if you want KidOps as well, you can go down. There's a link in the description. Oh, let's just go controls. What else we got down in here? Oh, look at this numpad type thing. Click on that. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Yeah, wow. Wow. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. If I do an Alt H and we'll click on this thing. Um, this here is my kit bash set, Greeble set, which I will be converting to kit ops very soon. And I'll probably be giving away a few copies to this in upcoming videos. So make sure you're subscribed as I'll be dropping links every once in a while. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitter because I might give away some free coupons on there as well.